Okay, it's time, my friends. It's 10 past 10. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the English class. Before we start with the class, let's make a revision, okay? A revision of the alphabet first for a spelling. Listen, please. You know this, no? The alphabet. And you repeat the letters, okay? A, B, C, D, okay? You repeat the letters. Open your microphones, please. Open your microphones. Open, open, repeat. A, B, B C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, L, A, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T, U, R, W, X, Y, Z. Faster? Faster, okay. A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, N, M, L, L, M, N, O, P, R, R, S, T, U, W, A, W, X, I, N, C. Y, Z. Great. One more time. Open your microphones. A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, I, L, L, O, D, 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 O,
W-O-R-D. The password. Very good, Luciana. Good job. Let's see the next. These four words more, okay? I'm going to choose four students now. Different students. To see if you are practicing or not. Okay, let's see. Guerrero, Mateo. Mateo, can you spell toothache? T-O-O-T-H-A-C-H-E. Toothache. Excellent, Mateo. You're practicing. Good. Enrique Osorio. Enrique, can you spell a skate park? A skate park. Yeah. A I S K I T A P I no A R K State Park. Good job. Good job, Enrique. Be careful with the vowels, okay? With the vowels. A E I O. Now be careful with this. But what's good, Enrique? Let's see. Now two gears, okay? Two gears, let's see. Valerie, Valerie, can you spell aquarium? A Q U A R E U M Aquarium. Very good, Valerie. The same, Valerie. Be careful with the vowels. I. I. Okay. Be careful. A. Be careful with the vowels. And Luciana Arve. Luciana, can you spell elbow? Luciana. Your microphone is bad. Tell me in the chat, please. If you had problems with the microphone, tell me in the chat. Okay, another student. Okay, let's see. Hector Solis. Hector, please. Can you spell elbow? Hector. Come on, my friend, the same, has problems with the microphone. Okay, one volunteer, please, raise your hand. Elbow, to spell elbow. Okay, Alison, a spell, please. E-L-B-O-W, elbow. Excellent, Alison. Oh, you maybe pass to the second stage, but please pay attention. In the competition, you are not going to use this. The teacher is not going to present the words. You are only use your mind. You're going to use your mind, your head for the spelling. Okay? It's not with the, with the words presenting. The teacher only says, can you spell tornado? And you in your head. T-O-R-N-A-D-O. -O, tornado teacher. And the, the next word, no? Can you spell Another word, let's see. Can you spell a spin? A spin, okay, S-P-I-N, a spin. Okay, the competition is going to be like that. You need to memorize the words. That's why the teacher sends you this. You have this, no? You practice it with this. The teacher says pepper, so you spell pepper in memory or cassette, or chubby, or costume, or password, okay? You need to practice with this word, because we are going to work with this. Okay, we are stop with this part, with our spelling. Now, let's play, okay? Very fast, let's play. We are going to play what? Quiz, but we are going to use this. Remember, the last class we learned, 
these prepositions. Open your microphones, please. Open. Repeat. In. In. During. 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 On. 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 From to. From to. to. After. After. In this game, we are going to answer some questions like this. In, remember, is for general time. For general. In July. You see, it's very general. It's not a specific. In the morning. You see, it's very general. During the summer. On, this is very specific. On, on Monday. You see? Specific. From to is for time. Desde hasta in Spanish. From to. After, you know after. Also in the game, in this quiz game, is this grammar. Pay attention here. When we use who, who can tell me? When we use who? For animals, for people, or for things? People. People, excellent, my friend. For people. Thomas Edison, no? Who? And when we use which, the other word, which? Object. For objects or animals, okay? Be careful. Object or animals. And that, teacher, and that? That is possible for two. For people, okay? It's possible for people, that, or is possible for objects. For that two is okay. Or for animals, okay? But who? Only for people. Which? Only for things. Now, please, open one quiz in your computer, my friends. Open one. Open one quiz in your computer. Quizzes? Yes, one quizzes. In the chat, you have the link. In the chat, you have the code. Enter, please. We are going to make a revision of what we learned. The last week, okay? Enter, please, enter. This is the code. It's in the chat. Hector, enter to the game. Hector. Profesor, entrado por otro dispositivo. A ver si así me acepta el quizis. Okay, Luciana. Okay. Xiomara, very good. Belén, Fabricio, Leonardo, good job. Camila Santillana, enter. Julio, Joaquín, come on, Joaquín. Daira, enter. Ángel, enter, please. Mateo, good. José, Julio. Martín, enter, please, Martín. Oh, sorry, Martin. You're here, Martin. Let's see who is missing. Mauricio, enter, Mauricio. Daniel, please, enter to the game. Diego, enter. Adriana, enter. Very good, Mauricio. Very good, Daniel. You enter to the game. Very good, Joaquin. You enter. Good. Luciana Arve, Luciana. Enter, please. In this quiz, you are going to use the vocabulary we see, the grammar, the prepositions, who, which, that. Also, the, the vocabulary from the last class, no? We talk about scissors, invent. Who invented the telephone? Okay, the things, the scissors, all these questions. Okay, in the chat you have the link, the code. For the rest, let's enter, let's play. Thank you. 
Okay, some students have finished it. Excellent job, Alison. Xiomara, excellent job. Fabricio, very good. Daira, very good. Belen, good job. Who else finished it? Mm, Daniel, good. Julio, good. Diego, very good, Diego. Please, you need to read the questions, huh? Camila, excellent job. Camila Santillana. Let's see. Leonardo, good. You finish. Jose, good. Uh, who else? Cristina, good job. Joshua, good. Angel, good. Joaquin, good. Hector, my friend, you need to read, please, more, with more carefully, okay, the questions. You finish it, good. Mm, the rest, please finish. Remember the prepositions we see. Now, let's just start with the class, okay? Okay, Luciana, yeah, sometimes, not the, when you have bad internet, you know, the game. Okay, now, who didn't finish, uh, let's see, Adriana and Luciana. Finish, please, finish your quiz. Finish your quiz at the end. For the rest, pay attention, please. Today, we are going to identify information in text, okay? What text? In the book, in the, in the Janstar, and also in the platform. And tomorrow, we are going to identify information in the reader, in Gulliver, okay? But today, we are going to see about London. Okay, let's explore London. And today we are going to evaluate this, the platform, using the platform. The teacher is going to evaluate the activities you do in the platform. In the unit three, in the lesson B. Be careful when you complete your activities because this is the the percentage okay be careful with the percentage because when this percentage decrease like this or like this other example your score is going to be different so be careful with with this be careful with the percentage in your activities okay be careful with that Finish it, Martin, and who is missing? It's Adriana. The rest, please. We are going to explore London now. Okay, London is the capital of England. Please watch this video and you take notes about the most famous places in London. In this video, you can see some famous places that they talk about. So, pay attention in that, okay? Let's watch. This is London, the capital city of England and the United Kingdom. 
The big wheel you can see is the Millennium Wheel, or London Eye as it's also known. It's 135 meters high with 32 glass capsules. The wheel was opened in March 2000 to mark the end of the 20th century and the beginning of the new millennium. Opposite the Millennium Wheel, you can find Big Ben, the famous clock tower, and the Palace of Westminster, also known as the Houses of Parliament. This is where the government meets. One of the best things about London is its parks. In Regent's Park, you have the largest grass area for sports in central London and an open-air theatre. You can relax, walk and run in the parks, but you can't cycle. Only the police can do that. Horses are another good and ecological way of keeping order in London. This is Trafalgar Square with the National Gallery Art Museum in the background. Nelson's Column is a monument to Admiral Nelson, who died at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1815. You can also visit the British Museum in Great Russell Street, or walk over the new Millennium Bridge to the Tate Modern Museum. When it opened on the 10th of June, the bridge had to be closed after just a few days because it was moving too much. Don't worry, it's okay now. The Tate Modern Museum is a converted old power station. On the other side of the Millennium Bridge is St Paul's Cathedral. It is a tourist attraction and you can walk the 530 steps up to the gallery and see London. Another feature of London is the changing of the guard, which takes place inside the grounds of Buckingham Palace every day at 11 a.m. It lasts about 40 minutes, but come early, as there are usually lots of people. You can take a boat along the Thames. This is Tower Bridge. It opens up for big boats, and all the car traffic has to stop for about 15 minutes. You can also walk along the top bridge that joins the two towers. If you keep going east, you arrive in the new Docklands area. There are a lot of big offices and expensive new apartments on the river there. Time certainly flies when you're traveling around London. Okay, please, who can tell me some famous places in London according to this video? No one? Did you hear some place? Jose, tell me please. A big man? The British Museum. The British Museum, very good, Jose. Also says, Joshua says the Big Bang. Yeah, it's a tower, no, with a clock. Very good, very good, Jose. The British Museum. What else? What else did you see? They mention no? the big wheel, for example. That is a game, a huge game. The big wheel. The big van, no? There are some museums too. They talk about that. Also, uh, some palace, like the Buckingham Palace. Other famous places, the Nelson, the Nelson's Column, no? And a cathedral the St. Paul's Cathedral, you see? And there are more places too, and many more. Yes, the London Eye, no? Good. That is the other name for the big wheel. The London Isle is the other name for the big wheel. Good, my friends. Now let's open the book. Let's go to the Young Star book. Let's go to the page 74 and 75. Let's learn more about London, okay? Open please your books. Open the Young Star, page 74, 75. Let's start with the vocabulary, okay? Module seven, our world. One, vocabulary, the underground. 
Open your microphones, please. Repeat. Castle. 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 Gift shop. Castle. Gift shop. Gift shop. Good. Repeat, please. Jewelry. 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 Souvenir. 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 Station. Station. One more time, repeat. The underground. The underground. The underground. The underground. Castle. 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 Gift shop. Gift shop. Gift shop. Gift shop. Jewelry. 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 Souvenirs. 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 Station. 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 Good, my friends. Stop. The underground. What is the underground? You know, not in Spanish. In El suelo. Yeah, but it's not exactly. The underground is el metro o el subterráneo. Okay, it's a transportation way. Okay, it's like a train but underground, under the city. It's not a station, uh, Jose, it's not a station. It's like a train. Okay, but this train travels under the city. Okay. El metro in Spanish. Castle, you know, no? Castle, you know, similar to Spanish. Gift shop, you know, is the place where you go to to buy gifts, to buy presents. That's a gift shop. Jewelry. When we talk about earrings, necklace, bracelets, those things are jewelry. Okay, in Spanish, joyería. Joyas, jewelry, souvenirs, you know, no? souvenirs are gifts, no? to remember one place, and a station, that, this is a station, Jose, station, no? as you know. Now, listen please the article in the text, okay, we are going to see three places, we are going to learn about the Camden Market, the National Gallery and the Tower of London. Three famous places. Listen, please. Two, listen and circle. Where would you find a text like this? Then read. Exploring London. Camden Market. Camden Market is a place where you can go for a walk and do some shopping. You can find clothes, furniture, and souvenirs at cheap prices. Take the Underground, Northern Line, and get off at Camden Town Station. Continue listen, please. National Gallery. The National Gallery is a gallery with beautiful exhibitions. It is in London's famous Trafalgar Square, where you can take a walk, relax, and take great photos. In the gallery, you can see paintings by great artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Van Gogh, Monet, and many more. The National Gallery is near Leicester Square Station, Northern or Piccadilly Line. Tower of London. The Tower of London is near Tower Hill Station, District or Circle Line. It's a castle where you can learn about the history of London. There are exhibitions with jewellery, coins, and much more. Don't forget to visit the gift shop. You can find great souvenirs for your friends and family there. You see, we can see the information of this three tourist place. Tell me, please, raise your hand. In what place, in which part, in which, in which, in what kind of... Um, media we can find this information in what kind in a travel guide or in a history book in what place we can find this information about these three places 
where? In a travel guide or in a history book? Fabricio, tell me, in what place? In a travel guide. Yeah, excellent, Fabricio. Excellent, Leonardo. No? We can find this information about these tourist places in a travel guide, not in a history book. Please, listen one more time the text. You read at home the article, read at home, because you are going to complete the activity three. Okay? Read one more time. Listen one more time the text. And you say, this sentence is, this, is talking about the Camden Market? Is talking about the National Gallery? Or is talking about the Tower of London? And you are going to complete this. Uh, but for that, we need to read one more time the text. Listen, please. You read at home. Listen. Two. Listen and circle. Where would you find a text like this? Then read. Exploring London. Camden Market. Camden Market is a place where you can go for a walk and do some shopping. You can find clothes, furniture, and souvenirs at cheap prices. Take the Underground, Northern Line, and get off at Camden Town Station. Continue listen, please. National Gallery. The National Gallery is a gallery with beautiful exhibitions. It is in London's famous Trafalgar Square, where you can take a walk, relax, and take great photos. In the gallery, you can see paintings by great artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Van Gogh, Monet, and many more. The National Gallery is near Leicester Square Station, Northern or Piccadilly Line. Tower of London. The Tower of London is near Tower Hill Station, District or Circle Line. It's a castle where you can learn about the history of London. There are exhibitions with jewellery, coins and much more. Don't forget to visit the gift shop. You can find great souvenirs for your friends and family there. Okay, now you read one more time, please. You have three minutes to complete this activity, the activity three. Okay, let's work. Read one more time. You are going to complete this with CM, no? if the sentence is talking about Camden Market, or NG, if the sentence is talking about the National Gallery, or TL, if the sentence is talking about the Tower of London. Three minutes, please. Work. Complete. And as always, some students are going to help me, okay? Finish. Oh, excellent, my friend. You're very fast. For the rest, continue, please, the rest. These students are going to help me, okay? The rest, continue, please, continue, work. Profe, ya tengo, ya tengo mi respuesta. Very good, Martin. Can you read, please, Martin? It's a place where you can see paintings. NG. Excellent, my friend. The National Gallery, no? Excellent. The next, please. Who finished it? Diego, did you finish? Fabricio, you finished it, no? Read, please. Number two. Yes, 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 teacher. A ver. Mm, I can the uh, number two or three. number three. Oh, number okay, three. teacher. Yeah. The place station to this place is Laser Square. 
and G. Laser square. Very good. Come on, this. Very good, Fabrizio. Good job. The National Gallery, no, is closest. The closest station, no, is Laser Square. The rest, please continue. If you finish, Diego or Hector or Belen or Nurka, tell me, okay? Teacher, I'm finished. Read, please, Belen. Five. Near a place where you can relax and take beautiful photos. NG National Gallery. Excellent, excellent Belen, the National Gallery, no? You can take wonderful pictures there. Good, thank you Belen. Diego, did you finish? Hector, did you finish? Nurka, did you finish? I am worth the option B, please. Diego, please, read the number two. It's a place where you can learn more about the past. What place can you repeat, please, Diego? It's NG. Diego, Diego, I'm talking with Diego. What place is Diego? Camden Market, National Gallery, or Tower of London? Uh, uh, Tower of London. Excellent, Diego, Tower of London, yes. You can learn history. History is the past, no? Nurka, please, read your number. You are the number six, Nurka. Teacher, yes, please, Chan. Yes. You should take the zebra line to head to this place. CM. Camden Market. Mm, sorry, it's not Camden Market. You should take the circle line, no? a bus that goes with circle line. It's for the Tower of London, Nurka. If you want to visit the Tower of London, you should take the circle line. Okay, and Hector, please, to finish. Hector, number four. See him. Yeah, very good, it's okay, it's excellent. But read please the sentence, Diego. It's a place, oh, sorry, Hector. It's a place. It's a place where you can find ship goods and furniture. Furnitures, no? Clothes, furniture. Thank you, Hector, it's okay. Camden Market. Thank you, Martin, Diego, Fabricio, Hector, Belen, Nirka. Thank you for your help. Please pay attention in this part. Pay attention to these words. You see? This where is another relative pronoun. We have the relative who for people, no, who. We have the relative which for animals, for things. We have that the relative that for is possible for people, is possible for animals, for things. And in this class, we have the relative where. Where is for places. As you can see, it's a place. It's a place. Where we use for places. Okay, my friends, we have four. Huh? Who, people, which animal things, people, animals, and where for places. Okay, good. Let's go to the activity four. Listen, what did Lisa do in Paris? What places 
did Lisa visit in Paris? A museum? No, this is a museum. Did she visit a castle? Maybe, no? Uh, a boat in the river? Or the Eiffel Tower? Listen, please, and you check. Only check. Four. What did Lisa do in Paris? Listen and tick the correct pictures. Lisa, you're back. How was your trip to Paris? Hi, Mina. It was fantastic. We had a great time there. My parents and I loved Paris. Where did you go? What did you do there? Well, on the first day, we visited the Eiffel Tower, of course. It's the tallest structure in Paris, right? Exactly. It also got its name from the engineer who designed it, Gustave Eiffel. You can see the whole of Paris from up there. The view is fantastic. What else did you do? We went on a cruise on the River Seine. It was the best part of our trip, I think. Really? Sounds fun. Actually, it was a lunch cruise. What do you mean? While we were enjoying all the sights, we were having lunch. Wow! Tell me about the food, please. It was the best ever. The most delicious food in the world. Nice. Did you visit Disneyland too? Well, we wanted to, but Disneyland is not near the city center and we didn't have much time. Don't worry, we can go there together sometime. Sure, we also visited the Louvre. Did you see the Mona Lisa? Of course. The Louvre is a place where you can see many famous paintings. There's also a beautiful gift shop there, you know. This is for you. Oh, Lisa, this t-shirt is great. Thank you so much. Listen one more time, please. Four. What? Lisa, you're back. How was your trip to Paris? Hi, Mina. It was fantastic. We had a great time there. My parents and I loved Paris. Where did you go? What did you do there? Well, on the first day, we visited the Eiffel Tower, of course. It's the tallest structure in Paris, right? Exactly. It also got its name from the engineer who designed it, Gustave Eiffel. You can see the whole of Paris from up there. The view is fantastic. What else did you do? We went on a cruise on the River Seine. It was the best part of our trip, I think. Really? Sounds fun. Actually, it was a lunch cruise. What do you mean? While we were enjoying all the sights, we were having lunch. Wow! Tell me about the food, please. It was the best ever. The most delicious food in the world. Nice! Did you visit Disneyland too? Well, we wanted to, but Disneyland is not near the city centre and we didn't have much time. Don't worry, we can go there together sometime. Sure, we also visited the Louvre. Did you see the Mona Lisa? Of course. The Louvre is a place where you can see many famous paintings. There's also a beautiful gift shop there, you know. This is for you. Oh, Lisa, this t-shirt is great. Thank you so much. Okay, my friends, please go to Zoom. Go to Zoom and check in the pictures that Lisa visited. Okay? Yeah, very good. She visited the Eiffel Tower, she says. What else? Very good, Camila. The museum, the Louvre Museum, where she can see the Mona Lisa, no? The painting. Oh, good. And this other. She took a cruise. The cruise is similar to a boat, a ship, but in the river. And there she had lunch. Okay, she says that. Very good, the three places. Well, the Louvre Museum, she took a, a voyage and she visited the Eiffel Tower. Excellent. Thank you, Camila, Fabricio. And let's go to the next, okay? The last. Oh, come on. 
Please pay attention here to finish it, to finish this part. We use the preposition where, uh, sorry, a relative where when we talk about places. Okay? It's a place where you buy souvenirs. What place is? A gift shop. A gift. Question for you. Listen, it's a place where you see animals, different animals, the small, big, dangerous. Oh, very good, the zoo, yes. The zoo is the place where you can see animals. Good, another, it's a place where you go when you are hungry. What place? Restaurant. Yeah, good, it's a possibility, a restaurant. Another idea? The place where you go when you are hungry. If you are at home, for example. Supermarket. Yeah, it's possible, a supermarket too, no? In the food section. But you are at home. To what place you go when you are hungry? Restaurant. To a restaurant, yeah. Also, you go to the dining room, no? To the kitchen. You are at home, says, mom, I'm hungry. Okay, go to the kitchen. There are some bananas there. So you go to the kitchen and you eat some fruit. You see? Good, another. Listen, it's a place where you go, okay, to swim. Swimming pool. Yeah, a swimming pool, excellent. That's one idea. Another idea? Another In your bedroom. In your bathroom, is possible swim? No. No, no, it's not possible. Another place. Water park? In the water park, yeah, it's, it's possible. Good idea. In summer, you usually go to this place. Beach. The beach, excellent. The beach, no, you go to the beach, you can swim. Also, you can do other things. Yeah, good. Remember, where the relative where we use for places, okay? Places. Good. Now, please, let's open the ELT book, okay? We are going to work with the book now, with a platform. At home, please open your ELT skills, okay? Open your ELT skills, open. Also, you need to open the book, no? The ELT book, this book. Okay, this book, remember. The ELT book. Oh, open please your platform, open. The unit is the unit number three, lesson B. Unit three B, okay? Enter to your platform, enter. We are going to work, practice, you know. Interactive activities. Unit three, lesson B. And in the book, in the ELT book, the page okay, can you, can you three. Unit three, lesson B. And in the book, in the ELT book, the page is 11 and 12, two pages. Then 11, no, this page, a man with a dog, and the page 12. Sydney, no, you see, Australia, a place. Okay? In the platform, unit three, lesson B. In the book, page 11. We have a conversation, no? In the page 11.
Let's go to the activity J, okay? The activity J, you know, is the, the page 11. The page 11 is the activity J. Listen this conversation and we complete, okay? If you got one word, go to Zoom, go to Texto, and you write, no? Teacher, the number one is this word. And you complete, okay? Listen, repetition one. And with us today, we have Fred Jones, a volunteer at the Queensland Animal Shelter. Well, Fred, when did you start helping at the shelter? Six years ago. That's quite a long time. What do volunteers usually do there? Well, there are many things that a person can do to help at the shelter. Some volunteers take care of the animals. They feed them, exercise them, and clean their cages. Others find families for them or help people find their lost pets. We help thousands of animals every year. And what do you do there? Do you take care of animals too? Well, no. I work with a group of five people and we organize events to raise money for the shelter. We organized a fundraising event last month. You see, we don't have enough space now, so we need money to make the shelter bigger. Really? Did you raise enough money for the new shelter? Well, we collected a lot. People were very generous, but we still need more money. Are you organizing another event soon? We're organizing something, but we aren't sure when we're going to have it. Well, make sure you let us know. I'm sure our listeners would like to donate some money, too. Okay, this conversation is about uh, animal shelter, no? And how the people help these animals. Good, Daira, very good. Excellent job, Daira. These are the words. Let's continue, please. You go. Go to Zoom, Fabricio. Go to Zoom and complete the number six or the number eight or the number ten. Listen one more time, okay? And with us today, we have Fred Jones, a volunteer at the Queensland Animal Shelter. Well, Fred, when did you start helping at the shelter? Six years ago. That's quite a long time. What do volunteers usually do there? Well... There are many things that a person can help people find their lost pets. We help thousands of I don't know why Zoom. Zoom Okay, Daira. Zoom se ha reiniciado, creo algo ha pasado. I'm going to share one more time, okay? Let's continue. Pay attention, please. Please, Daira, can you complete one more time? The words? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Listen one more time the conversation, please. And you can go to Zoom. You can go to Más Opciones, Anotar, Texto, Go. Teacher, I have the seven. The seven is race. Or the number one is shelter. Please go. Go to Zoom and complete. Okay? Let's listen one more time the conversation. I work with a group of five people and we organize events to raise money for the shelter. And with us today, we have Fred Jones, a volunteer at the Queensland Animal Shelter. Well, Fred, when did you start helping at the shelter? Six years ago. That's quite a long time. What do volunteers usually do there? Well, there are many things that a person can do to help at the shelter. Some volunteers take care of the animals. They feed them, exercise them, and clean their cages. Others find families for them or help people find their lost pets. We help thousands of animals every year. And what do you do there? Do you take care of animals too? Well, no. I work with a group of five people and we organize events to raise money for the shelter. We organized a fundraising event last month. You see, we don't have enough space now, so we need money to make the shelter bigger. Really? Did you raise enough money for the new shelter? Well, we collected a lot. People were very generous, but we still need more money. Are you organizing another event soon? 
We're organizing something, but we aren't sure when we're going to have it. Well, make sure you let us know. I'm sure our listeners would like to donate some money, too. Listen one more time, okay? And with us today, we have Fred Jones, a volunteer at the Queensland Animal Shelter. Well, Fred, when did you start helping at the shelter? Six years ago. That's quite a long time. What do volunteers usually do there? Well, there are many things that a person can do to help at the shelter. Some volunteers take care of the animals. They feed them, exercise them, and clean their cages. Others find families for them or help people find their lost pets. We help thousands of animals every year. And what do you do there? Do you take care of animals too? Well, no. I work with a group of five people and we organize events to raise money for the shelter. We organized a fundraising event last month. You see, we don't have enough space now, so we need money to make the shelter bigger. Really? Did you raise enough money for the new shelter? Well, we collected a lot. People were very generous, but we still need more money. Are you organizing another event soon? We're organizing something, but we aren't sure when we're going to have it. Well, make sure you let us know. I'm sure our listeners would like to donate some money, too. Good. These are the words. Shelter, volunteers, not the persons. Take care of, exercise them, very good. Organize, yes, they're organized. Uh, last month, an event, they say, no, last month we have a fundraiser event. And they collect money, they raise money. Similar to collect, this word, raise. They collected a lot. And they are planning to do another event, no, similar, because they need more money for saving the animals. And to finish, they say, the gear says, no, the radio presenter says that the listeners, they would like to donate some money to, because they love animals. Okay, these are the words. Thank you, Daira, for your help. These are, please finish in your platform. And now let's go to the activity K. In the activity K, we are going to complete with some prepositions. Okay, with some prepositions. And with other words, and huh? not only prepositions. This is the activity K, page 12. Okay, for example, Jack, Leaving for Australia tomorrow morning. Yak am, yak is, yak are leaving. What is the correct? Jose, tell me, what is the correct, Jose? Yak am, leaving, yak is leaving, yak are leaving. We know this, no? It's easy with the verb to be. Yeah, is. Jack is leaving for Australia. Good job, Alison says in the chat. Is, teacher. Yeah, good. Is. Number two. Number two is talking about future. Future. They are, you see, they are. Going, no, we're just going in future. Yeah, very good idea. They are going to build a shelter. This is future tense. The next, my friends and I are going to get party jobs. Ah, in this part is a preposition. What preposition? In, on, from, to, during, after, during, good, Camila. It's okay, during the summer. Another option is in the summer. It's possible, in the summer, because it's general, no? It's talking about in a general way. The summer is January, could be February or March. 
So in is possible too. Good job, Camila. The next is a question. You see, it's a question. You go to the library yesterday afternoon. Yesterday. Pass is past tense. What do we use in pass? Do or did? Do or did? Yeah, very good, Alison. And Fabrizio completed, no? Good. Did you go to the library yesterday? Did. The next, I watch it. The same, no? It's talking about past tense. What preposition? In, on. In this case, there is another. During two hours. Mm. There is another preposition for. I watched TV for two hours yesterday. Okay, this is another. Yeah, excellent, Daira. Daira says in the chat that next is ago. It's an expression when we use past tense, not two years ago. Very good, Alison also says ago. And seven, the same, it's a preposition. What preposition? In, on, during? On Saturday, yes, Leonardo, very good. It's a specific, no? Saturday, on Saturday, it's very specific. Very good, my friends. Thank you for your help. Now is your turn, please, complete. The rest of the world. Yes, Leonardo, A, B, C, D, E, F, Leonardo, please. For you, A, B, C, D, E, F. We finish it with J and K, no, with these two. Oh, yes, it's missing one. Yeah, thank you, Fabricio. It's present. Do you want to help? Then donate some money. Good, do you want, no, present. Very good. Please, now is your turn. Work A, B, C, D, E, F, your activities. If you had questions, raise your hand. If you need help, raise your hand and tell me. Good, Martin. Martin also says in the chat, no? Teacher, the number A is D. Oh, sorry, do. Yeah, Martin, good job. Now, please, Martin, let's continue working the platform. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. And the teacher is going to check, is going to, be, is going to see your advance in the platform. I am going to see your advance. You are working or you are not working? This is the activity K. Look, it's in Zoom. I am going to open my platform. Word, please, activity A, B, C, D, E, F. Mm. Alison, did you finish the activity K? The number one is is, no? Jack is. The number two, they are going. The number three is during. The number four, did you, no? Pass. The number five, Alison, is four for two hours. The number six, ago. Now they are talking about pass. Seven, on. On Saturday, no, it's a specific. And finally, A. Do. 
Please, it's your turn. Work. A, B, C, D, E, F. These are your activities. Diego, very good, Diego. Good job. Continue like that. Si la plataforma me pasa hasta Diego, significa que José, complete your practice, José, your platform, Daniel, Luciana Arbe. Work in your platform. Open the platform. José. José, are you working in the platform? Yes, teacher. Yeah, let's work, please, huh? Daniel, excuse me, Daniel. Teacher, I yes. think you have A, B, C, yeah. and Are you e. working in the platform? Yes, teacher. Let's work huh, in the platform. Okay. A mí me sale en el registro directo hasta Diego. Significa que los estudiantes de arriba no han completado ni una actividad. Please, let's work. Let's work in the activities. Teacher, si quiere le comparto. Si estoy haciendo, yo terminé la A, la B, la C y la E. Jose, excellent. Continue, please, Jose, okay? Continue. Daniel, activity K, please. Daniel, activity K. Daniel, did you complete activity K? Not yet. Daniel, it's in Zoom. Look at Zoom. The teacher is presenting the activity K. Look. Complete the activity K. Martin, very good, Martin. Continue with your activities. Adriana, good job. Oh, excellent, 100%. Adriana, complete, please, the rest. Camila Baltazar, Camila. Excuse me, Camila. Camila Navelli. Camila, let's work in the activities, please. Xiomara. Xiomara Castro. Xiomara. Xiomara, are you working in the platform? ¿Estás completando tu plataforma, Xiomara? Ya, ahora voy a revisar más, voy a ingresar a tu plataforma, ¿ya? Voy a terminar de ver los demás estudiantes. Porque a mí en el, en el reporte me aparece quiénes están trabajando. Allison, very good. Se pasó hasta Allison, ok. Joshua. A mí no me deja interactuar. Lo cliqueo y no me deja. Camila, ¿lograste ingresar a tu plataforma? No, profesor, cliqueo y no, no me capta el mouse. Si el mouse no te está funcionando, prueba con el Enter. Si ya escribiste tu usuario y tu contraseña, presiona Enter nada más. Ya, profesor. Y si aún así no carga, eh, tienes que cerrar la página y volver a ingresar una Profe, vez. Profe, ya hice la K. Ok, Daniel. O reiniciar, tal vez, tal vez Camila, para que reconozca tu mouse, tu computadora. Mateo, very good, Mateo. Luciana Freire, Luciana. Luciana Freire. Luciana. Ángel, very good. Enrique, very good. Continue, Enrique. Excuse me, Luciana. Mauricio. Mauricio. 
Mauricio. Sí, teacher. Mauricio, ya has trabajado las actividades. Te voy a pedir que me, que me envíes la solicitud para desbloquearte algunas. Porque te, está, te están bajando mucho en el promedio, ¿ves? Mauricio, please. Activity A, B, D. A, B, D, I. Look at Zoom, Mauricio. Look at Zoom. Yeah, these activities, Mauricio. These activities. A, the activity B, the activity D, and the activity I. Donde te aparece la nota, debajito dice Send and Lock Request. Hazle clic ahí en cada, de estas, en cada una de esas actividades. ¿Ok? Para que suba tu promedio. Leonardo, very good, Leonardo. Good job. Fabricio, excellent. The activities, please, Fabricio. Joaquín, excellent. Joaquín. Excuse me, Joaquín. 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 Nurka, excellent job, Nurka. Continue with your activities. A, B, C, D, E, F. Excellent, Julio. Let's continue with activities. Camila Santillana, excellent. Continue, please. Héctor. Héctor. Hector, come on, this is students. Professor, ¿qué actividad? La, la B. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, entonces, entonces me faltan solo dos. J y K. Ok. Leonardo, ¿did you finish? Yes, teacher. Leonardo, uh, maybe you can continue uh, with the unit 3B, oh, sorry, 3A. The same unit, but lesson A. Profe, ya terminé. Good, my friend. If you finish, please go to the unit 3, but lesson A. The lesson A. You can complete the same activities, no? A, B, C, D, E, F. In this unit, Leonardo, in the lesson B or in the lesson A? Leonardo, in the lesson A, A, B, C, D, E, F. Only this, okay? Because the J and K is with a teacher. Se puede hacer de la unidad uh, de, del 3, la unidad A, A, B, C, D, E, E, F. Yes, Leonardo. Ah, you finished it. Oh, excellent. Pero eso también hemos hecho, creo, porque acá también yo hice la J y la K. K por sí. Ok. Yeah, let me check. Okay? Se puedo ir terminando mi Robin Hood, porque ahí me falta un poco. Yeah, yeah, it's ok. It's, it's excellent, Leonardo. Please, go to your Robin Hood. 
complete the chapter four. Now we finish. Ah, oh, chapter three. Complete, please. Complete your chapters. It's okay. Good, Jose. Very good. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with a Robin Hood, huh? tomorrow. So, if you didn't complete the reader, now you can go. Go to the library. Check your Robin Hood. Diego, good. Diego, let's continue. Activity B, D, E, F. Very good, Daniel, you finish it. Oh, sorry, Jose, you finish it. Daniel, please, let's work in the activities. Daniel. Yeah. You didn't finish, Daniel, huh? A, B, C, D, E, F. Martin, very good, Martin, you finish it. Adriana, let's work in the activities. Xiomara, good, Xiomara, very good. Now you appear in the Allison, good. Joshua, come on, Joshua too. Oh. Joshua, let's work in your activities. Cristina, Luciana Freire. Luciana. Belen, let's work us. Very good, Belen. Oh, what is Belen? Labor, labor. Very good, Belen. Continue with your activities. Maima, very good, Angel. Now you see 88%. Very good, Luis. Enrique, excuse me, Enrique. Profesor. Enrique, lo mismo. Envíame la solicitud para desbloquearte la B y la D. Esas actividades... ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahorita, no, profesor? Sí, sí, sí. Envíame la solicitud para desbloquearte porque te está bajando tu promedio. Activity B, activity D. B y D. Okay, my friends, we don't have much time. No, it's 